Uh, okay, well, I mean, uh, can you get the house signed over in your name? Is that a possibility? Um, I could, but I don't think that's smart due to the fact that in the end I will be doing crime and she's clean and plans to stay clean. Um, I, I don't understand your concern. Okay, here's the baseline though, Julian. Like, mm -hmm. there's not a realm where I will personally agree to do this if she's the owner of this property. And if Ming and Fourth still wants to do it, then we do it. But I think it's a dumb decision. That, that's my point. Okay. You know, but I mean, if Ming and Fourth wants to do it, we, we do it. So, let me ask you this. You still have the roommates that live with you? Um, yeah, but I, yeah, I don't but think they, they're really going to be kicked Yeah, they're going to have to be kicked out of the house. Yeah, that's fine. But that can be uh, resolved. I can just buy him out. Uh, the thing is, right? Wait, do now, they have a stake in the property? They help pay for a, for a loan to close on the house initially. Do you have a contract written with them? No. Okay. That's Who is it? So the loan came from uh, from cousin, uh, and it's Chris and Sarah, the long like long term friends of mine. They who's who's, who came who's to cousin? The, who? What affiliation? Uh, for for a nice cousin, he's just a friend, and it was just a loan with no contract. He oh, just gave a bunch oh, of it's a cousin loan. Yeah, we, what, we already oh. paid it back. Is is cousin with any group or is it? Uh, he's with, with Speedy. Who and Speedy is with? Uh, Cyprus. Yeah. Oh shit! This okay. was done and like a while then? ago. So did they ever get Cousin's paid back? Not here, though, by the way. He, they, they get sure, Cousin does not live here. It's been already been paid back, yes. Okay, so it's no problem then. Okay. No, no, Who that's already been cut up. So, it's just Chris and Sarah that actually live here. Ah, so for, I guess this is the question then, Julian. The people that live here, do you, are they owed anything if you kick them out of the house? Just uh, what money they put into it. How much is that? Um, I think it was 90k total. Oh, fuck. All right. Is uh, the only thing is right? Um, obviously, I understand you trust Jade. I get it. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know who these all of them are in your house. So I'm, if we're gonna invest into these rack, if you're if you're talking about if you're talking about growing a, a one thousand two hundred bags worth of weed, it's gonna be a lot of racks and a lot of money invested in, into this place, right? Yeah, twelve thousand, yeah. Yeah, come live in random us or twelve. Yeah, twelve thousand is insane. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Come live in random ass motherfuckers living in, a, living in a fucking main operation house. You know, they just can't run. Yeah, I, I get it. And if that's like the one thing keeping it from happening, then that, that can be I mean, resolved. That's, that's, definitely no a, problem. that's definitely a major problem. They don't understand as well. I think the only real problem is, is just the whole, I guess, Jade and Ike not trusting that situation. I know Ming already trusts. No, 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 no don't get it twisted. It's not, it's not that I don't trust Jade. No, no, no the situation, the right? At the ownership of the house. Yeah. Yeah, again, like it's it's an issue that I think is a real issue, but if Ming and Fora don't think it's an issue, then I think we move forward anyways. I I, I think it's it, it's potentially an issue. That that's but that's my opinion. And it's yeah. not just me, so I mean I don't really know Jade like that, but I know you know Jade, so therefore like I trust her, but you know, I definitely see AK's concern. Mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you this question. Like, how much money do you need invested? Honestly, um, okay, so it depends how large you want to go. If you want the 6,000 uh, things a day, right, which is, I think, the realistic first step, it's 22 medium racks. And we don't have to ideally get uh, more plots. The plots is around 13K per setup. So three more plots, and the right? racks, yes. If you want six plots, yes. For the drying racks, it is 7.5k per blueprint. And how many racks do you want? Which is five racks per. Um, so that's four times 7.5k. And then to make the racks, it is 100 low and 12, oh, sorry, and 50 basic wood. So it's 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 not like a crazy investment. I think that is doable, like on the under 100k. Okay. And essentially, the only real money you put into the growing expenses wise would be the bill, which then can also be resolved with, for example, solar panels and things like that to reduce costs. But it's also an investment, right? To get those installed and everything. But I guess that's kind of your field of expertise because I have no clue how that shit works, okay? Oh, well, the bill, the bill is going to be a whole other problem. We don't even know, like, what. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. The bill is so. going to be the most expensive part of the operation, most likely. Yeah. yeah
Uh, it's, it's well, let me ask you this though. Do you need six plots? Because I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Not right? necessarily. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. It is highly unlikely that we can push 12,000 bags a day. I think it's a waste. Yeah. As long as your operation can push out like 5,000 bags a day, that's comfortable for right now. Mm -hmm. And then we can build up off. Like, there's no point of wasting and buying all these plots when we can't handle it, right? Like, there's no way I'm pushing no, 12,000 bags a day. It's, it's just way too much. No, the, the, the plots are, are not, aren't a big deal, right? The growing is not the problem. It's the drying. The racks is, is what Yeah, but that's, what, that's what I'm saying. There's no need. There's no need to buy yeah. for 12,000. Like, I understand you can produce that much, but it's pointless mm -hmm. if you can't push it, right? I agree. So I think what we do is uh, you set up your operation to where you're making around 45,000 bags a day, which we can handle. And okay. then and down the line, if I can get more sellers and, and we're like, we can handle more, then you up the operation. Like that makes the most yeah, sense. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yeah, I think investing beyond what we can push is kind of pointless. Yeah, we expand as we grow, right? Exactly. Yeah. There's no point. There's yeah, no I point agree. of fucking over investing. And then yeah, I was just giving you like numbers yeah. based on what we could put down there, you know? But there's room for growth, essentially. Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna, we can comfortably handle like 4,000, maybe 5,000 bucks. As long, as, long yeah. as I get all my sellers back, then we can do Like, especially like now with how much is paying, everyone's going to want to sell, right? They're going to be like, oh, yeah, good money. So I definitely think we can handle that. Hmm. But uh, over that, uh, no, not right now. But the problem remains, Jade is in charge, you know, is the owner of the house due to her being clean. Um, you put up more, if not the same amount of stuff that I've put into the thing. So I think, although, yes, it would solve the trust issue you might have. I think oh, it's let me ask you this wisest. question. Is Jade, uh, like a Jade's, uh, Jade's, uh, you know, she's clean, right? She doesn't do, she doesn't like yes, yes. Do anything. Yeah, she's clean. And she also avoids places like where, you know, we do things that like grow and everything best she can but to be seen without other people like that. She, she, she's, you know. All right, let me let me speak to Aki for one sec. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, so what do you think? Yeah, I think this is a dumb idea, personally. To be in her name. Uh, That's the only thing you disagree no, with. No, it's just that like. Here's the thing, like, um, how do I explain this without it seeming like I have a problem with Julian? Because I genuinely don't. Um, I think there's like, um, okay, hear me out on this, right? We're about to invest a lot of money into an operation like this. Money, not necessarily a problem. The problem I'm thinking of is like, okay, we're, they're propping up how difficult it is to get to this point. What if this just gets like, what, like, again, what if they have some fight or what if she's like, oh, I... I, I want to join a different gang or whatever the fuck. You never know. And then we've invested all this time into this property and then we're going to have to prop it up from the beginning. Uh, I guess what I, we could do is... So the only concern yeah. or the only concern I agree with is uh, what if something happens on the line where like Jade has whatever reason. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like... Okay, look at it this way, right? You'd have to be pretty fucking dumb. Like I think I think this will work fine because in my opinion... You'd have to be pretty fucking dumb to purposely fuck us over, cause like the shit that comes with that, like if you if you do something like that, you're not you're not living your life. Like, you wanna live your life. Like your, your life is ruined, you know what I mean? Like if she does something like she, I don't think she's dumb. If she fucked the server in that way, she knows like that's it, you know, like her life's ruined. Yeah, do you really There's think that's gonna... people in the city? That's the problem. I just don't. Uh, she doesn't strike me like it. You know, I, I'm I'm sure she knows what comes with fucking us over in that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Listen, for her, I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna be like full transparent. If this is a risk that you and Ming are willing to take, I think we do it. I'm a person that's like, I'm very, um, I try to be very aware of my risk and I try to stay away from them. And maybe sometimes too, too, too big uh, of an extent. I, um, and you might be right. Like this might be the, the move. I, I personally don't think so, but it's not my decision. What's alone. your, so what's like your, what's you your alternative move though? Like what is, uh, the alternative move is that we move the operation to, to grow and that we start the growth process from the beginning. But who? And mean, meanwhile, uh, through, through... Okay, so here's the other thing too, though. Like, 
Uh, yeah, well, it would be hopefully the thing is like we need we need Dicker to wake up, and if yeah, he doesn't, then we need somebody else in the group to grow. Like I guess I'll start growing. Okay, so, so the main problem, the main problem with uh, Dickhead being in charge, I have no issue with it. It's just that you need it's somebody. Just that he's inconsistent as a motherfucker. You, you need like you need somebody that's gonna attend the plants, that's gonna sit there and actually grow the plants and make sure they water them, make sure everything's going as it is. And Dickhead is not doing that. Yeah, you're not wrong. So that's why this is a good option. And the, the biggest yeah. risk the biggest risk we're taking is investing. Okay, this is this is the way I look at it, right? We invest, I don't know, what is it, 70k, 100 k Okay, yeah, it's a good chunk of money. But uh in a fucking two weeks time we'll have that back from the weed that we sold. Even less. Two days. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? If, uh I mean, yeah, I guess we could do that, and then if Dickhead wakes up, he can start growing in our house as well. Because, I mean, we're, we're going to have that house empty anyways, and that way we can have a backup. So we kind of do the original plan, but we twist it. We do the main here, and then we do an off-grow over there. Yeah, I think what we do, I think what we do is we go with this house, then we build up the second house slowly as Dickhead and we have, oh, you want to grow. We build the house up too. That's the backup. I mean, I don't want, I, I don't want to grow, to be clear. I want to sling, but I, I can do with it because we obviously need listen, to. The, listen. The, the thing is... The thing is, ultimately, I want our shit to be in-house. And I feel like with this, it's kind of in-house, but it's kind of not. And we're, again, like committing to something that's like half-assed. But I get you. Like, we don't have another option. So I'm basically just yapping. I get it. Like, it's... It, 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 it is. It, 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 I, I, listen, I understand your concern. I completely agree with your concern. It is, it is a legi legitimate we don't have a better concern, option, so right? You're right. But I think this is... I think... I think the risk is not that high. I don't think what you... Like, what you're thinking about, I don't think will happen. Now it could happen. Okay. I could be wrong. You could be right. Yeah, but, but like, it's I, unlikely, yeah. like I said, the biggest risk we're taking is investing a hundred k, which we make back in like three days from selling wheat. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So even if this okay. operation runs for like let's say only one month, and then Julian and Jet have a big fire, then she takes the house keys away. I mean, we made our money back like fucking five, six times fold. You know? Yeah. I don't. I don't know that I like. I feel like these numbers might be a bit exaggerated, so I'm curious to see how it passes. Yeah, out. Uh, yeah, twelve thousand is insane. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll see, I, I'm though. curious to that. That's kind of why I test. I want to test the growth shit by myself because I want to see if it's actually this tricky or if it's also in like, because Pedro is doing it right by himself. I don't think he's doing it by himself, but he's doing it. Yeah. Okay. Is he a degenerate or? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. That's Fair yeah. Enough. He is. Yo, he calls me up and tells me he's been awake for 30 hours working out science. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um... Uh, Yo, refundable, thank you for the insane. gifted sub. Thank you so much. Okay. Um... Yeah, listen, it's, uh, at the end of the day, like, I... All I care about is that our crew has smooth operations and shit runs. Uh, but this operation at the end of the day is your operation. I just want to make sure that no, it no, actually... No, this is... No, 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 no. This is not my, this is everyone's operation, it's the whole crew's operation, right? This is my operation. Yeah, yeah I just don't want to, cause like, yeah. No, you're right. I mean, okay, do you disagree with this enough to not go, like... I understand your concern, right? No, I don't, right? I yeah. don't. Okay. I don't. I disagree I with it, but not to the point where I, I feel like we definitely, definitely, definitely shouldn't do it. Then I think we do it. Okay. And uh, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. You know, it is what it is. Yep. Um. Okay, anything else? How do we solve the problem with uh, Julian feeling like he can't contribute if it's Jay doing all the work? Well, I don't know if that's going to be... I mean, he's going to help, right? So I think that's not a problem. But he was telling me that he basically just brings stuff to her and she does all the work. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they, I don't know, like, what is issue. Like, I think it's, I think, I think it's fine. I think it's just fine. You know what I mean? Did you guys, okay. did you guys okay. figure shit out? You guys, you, I mean, you guys spoke, right? Yeah, I mean, I told him the same shit I told you, basically. Uh, and he was saying that, uh, he was saying that, uh, uh, fuck, what was, basically, he had built the operation and then, you guys talked to me, and then he was told to, that we that he wasn't doing that, and then he changed operation. I I told him he was incorrect because initially we had talked about the different operation, but you guys forgot about that. I think. 
And he said that sometimes when you guys talk to him, you have one opinion, and when you talk to me, you have a different opinion. And if that's true, I mean, that's a problem if, if it's that way. I think it's more like... I think, I think what happened was more along the lines of everyone was on board with it, and then when we spoke to you, you brought up a good point with Jay, right? Does that make sense? Okay, you yeah. Look, you look Something you look, guys didn't consider yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I... I, we, I listen, like, I genuinely didn't have any issues with Julian other than how he handled things. And I explained what those issues were, so... Uh, but he basically just said that, yeah, I agree, yeah, I understand, yeah, I agree. Like, he just agreed with everything, so I, yeah. I don't know if he, like, really agrees or... Uh, I'm but not... I, I think it's good. Yeah, I should be fine. Listen, my plan, my plan is to get... I have people texting me every day. Yo, Fuhad, when's the operation back on? I have weed sellers that are ready to push on the block. Like, our operations don't be insane. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. that's my plan. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my plan. Like, we have that fucking shit running 24 7 around the clock. And we have Fanny and Ming washing the money. And we're going, we're going, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be, hey, we're going to be out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Yeah, we need to get those fucking uh, drying machines quick. Wait till you get the I'm, 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 I'm going, I'm afraid the fun is going to fuck up that deal. I'm going to be real. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. I think priority right now should be getting, getting these racks yeah. for these guys. Yo. I did want to... I was just thinking about the stuff we were talking about. I want to say, like... Honestly, let's say she is some fucking absolute succubus that fucks me over down the line, right? Imagine some crazy scenario. I think by the time that happens, it, it is literally not even, like, relevant. Because... I just... It's not going to apply. I don't think it's going to be a problem like that we're at gonna, all. So the way we're going to solve the situation is we're going to set, set up a secondary grow up where if they can come around, they can work on that in the other house. Yeah. And then okay. we do the main board here. All right. Yeah, this is going to be the, and, and, this is going to be the main place. And then we'll have a backup place slowly building up over time, right? Yeah. And, then, you know, we can we can always talk to Dickhead and, and help out. And, you know, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. You need to make sure you cut any ties with anybody else involved in this house, though. Like, yeah, not cut ties, but like from the house, that is. We, we people kicked out of the house, dog. Yeah, we, we we can uh, we can talk about that and figure that shit so out. Who, that so who, be an issue. like who, like who knows about this place? Who knows? Like it's a location. Or yeah, who knows that there's there? a weed grow down there? Yeah, like does you, do the people that live here um, know about it? No, just people that have helped me like get started with like just the knowledge. Who? Who knows? Or, or the only person that has helped us buy half the stuff in there has been Eli. Uh, and that's really it. But he's only been upstairs once. So only Eli knows about the operation here. Yes. Uh, who's Eli? I you don't know. know. If, uh, Eli Porter. He works at Pigeon. They share notes and stuff. Is that the guy that hangs out with uh, uh, Ptah? Does he? Uh, probably. He's with Pigeon, so. Is it Pigeon? Yeah, I mean, he told me they share notes. So they do shit together. I don't fucking know. Okay. Anybody else? Like and then, the yeah, so pretty much it's only people that have been close to Pigeon, right? Um, so Chody has recently come back. Um, Ming and I have known Chody for a very, very long time. And I know like, the weed game is like, he loves that shit. It's just he's never going to have a gang to ever get close to what he's going to be able to do uh, regarding selling. So to him, it's kind of like a, you know, like a dead dream. But I did want to show him like all the new tech and stuff because it's interesting to him. Um, but but he will he's you know he's never gonna jeopardize any of that, and he's also um, Rami told me that he's now doing stuff with Pigeon as well. So who knows what that's gonna be? But that, that's their own thing. That not you know none of these people are involved here at all. So it's Eli and uh, Shodi was Jody, that yeah, that's it. Those are the only ones. Okay. Yeah, and they're like way ahead in production of weed themselves. You know, themselves or through uh, through pigeon. Okay, uh, I don't, are you sure? Because I had Vinny calling me up talking about how yeah, the fuck Eli is going crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm not talking and about Chody Eli. Now, no, 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 no. Chody just came back recently, right? He's joining uh, pigeon uh, in his stuff, and then on his own time, uh, they told me they're gonna buy a, a warehouse. I guess with the kind of the one that we have type type of warehouse, and they're gonna build some operation for Chody there. But the thing is, even if they do that. 
they're never going to have like who in CT is going to sell on the block all day for head like who you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not about who. I mean, look at what we're doing here. We, just, have, we have people yeah. selling for us. Yeah, the do the same. I'm just giving you an example, right? Like, like, uh, like for tell me if I'm tripping, but like, I I don't think this uh, what whatever you're doing here, we we can't share the or 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 shit. No, no, no. Of course not. It's it's different now. No, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, just giving you like. I mean, listen, 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 I get it. I get it. Right, like you had people come in to help you set shit up. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. But like from we now to, on, we no from rep. now on, we, we can't have no. Stuff. Yeah, from now on, we can't have anyone coming in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, okay. So yeah, just two people. That's good then. And then the two people that share the house that you need to get rid of. Yeah, that's uh, Chris and Sarah. Like I said, they put ninety k into the loan. They've only shown up. And woken up essentially to pay off the loan. They okay. just work jobs and then that's it. Um, that, that's it. Yeah, they're just friends. They needed the place to stay when they came here. Offer them a, a place, and they can be bought out easily. Okay. Yeah, but that's the thing. Do we have to buy them out? You mean like you want to fuck them over? Because here's, here's the problem, right? Here's, here's, one, here's one problem with your with the people that live here. Now here's one issue. If you guys thought about this, right? Mm -hmm. if those, do those, so the people that live here know about what's going on, right? Because they fucking live here, right? Um, they have not seen anything yet. They they were here but, before with their renovations, yeah. Right, but I mean, they're like, uh, they're just gonna wake yeah, up. I know and what see. you mean, yeah. yeah. Right, so yeah, when they, they do so, they here, see, so, yeah. so here's the problem. They'll know about it, and mm -hmm. um, now that means if you want them out, you're gonna have to pay them off. And if you don't pay them off, they know about it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. So, is that, is it like is that like an expense that we're gonna have to pay them out, or they're gonna know they, we kick them out and they know about it and they just fucking snitch? You know what I mean? That's no, an, that's another I mean, issue. They're, they're never gonna fuck me over. Simple. Yeah, they, but if you just kick them out the house, then they're more if, than if that. I kick them out, yeah, but I I don't want to do that though. Cause so you want to pay they, them off? Just, they help just, me. Just just have a proper conversation with them. Tell them you want yeah, to have an exclusive house for you and your your girlfriend, and that that you're willing to pay them out for it. And yeah, let's see what kind of price you can though, negotiate right? it down yeah. for. No, no, it doesn't have to be ninety k. Oh uh, yeah, well, I mean, see what yeah, I mean, I guess I guess right. See what you can like. You get what I'm trying to say, though, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. I'm just letting you know that uh, I don't intend to fuck them over because they never fucked me over before. I don't, I don't really, I don't want to do that to people that you know are good to me that I allowed in my home, essentially, right? But getting rid of them essentially from the house is not a big problem. There's ways to go about it, and the amounts of money that we'll be producing, it, it shouldn't be that big of an issue in my mind. Even if it's just the money that we'd be making ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean the thing is, right, just because we're producing a lot of money doesn't mean we can just spend like crazy, right? Like, no, 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 I know. I'm just, I'm just saying, right? Like, I mean, 90k is 90k, right? And also, I mean, Chris, is, is, you know, wanted to become a seller for you. You met Chris already once. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, have you seen him since? Right? No. He, he doesn't show up, right? Like, that, I can show you the weed. It's still downstairs on the ground in the corner, right, rotting away. I, I try to give him some stuff to do. It's just, you know. Uh, they're not really, uh, you know, I, I don't think they would give a fuck, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. They, they don't need to be fucked over. Now, if they uh, decide to show up and they want their money, I can figure something out with them with the 90k, uh, if need be. But it, it all depends on the talk I'm going to have with them, right? For you need to uh, talk to Yay and figure out the pricing, too. Yeah. Well, we, we, we know we're near there yet. They couldn't even dry the weed yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just saying at, at some point. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. some point, you need to. Yeah. You also have an absolute fuck ton of like dog shit weed. It's just like, uh, you know, mid shit. Like, I don't know if you uh, use that for, is it for dried runners. Now? It will be dried, but you know, still wet. Yeah, the thing is, if you have if you have shit that is not dry, just throw it away. There's no point wasting uh, drying time on shit weed. Once okay, you get yeah, it dry, just put point. straight good weed in there. If you have enough of it, that is. I mean, if you have space for the shit one, then yeah. Yeah, and also AK. Keep in mind as well, if for some reason, you know, Jay being part of the Bessies is a solution to things, she has never been opposed to things like that. It's just it hasn't been any of her goals or ambitions because she, she's not a gangbanger. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I so mean, that I, becomes the, the for thing. and I talked about the situation. I'm, I, I think the risk is, is worth it. So I, I think we just go forward with, with how it is. Okay. All right, I just wanted to at least say it, you know, so. Yeah. It's mentioned. Um. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll get some wrecks. 
think that's the next step, right? You guys need racks. Yeah. Just holding us back. Yeah, so, need so, so you guys, so, blueprints. so you got. Okay, let me ask you this: How much, how much can mm -hmm. you guys produce right now with the free planners? Like, how much pineapple express? If it's, I, uh, let's need SJ. You know, it's like the timer on the plants now after today's uh, changes, and then it's just it's nine plants per plot, so times three, and then just whatever duration it is, right? Um, and then each break, I assume when we have the right genetics, which we pretty much already have. So we'll there's, be, an, uh, there's another getting... issue. There's another issue, though, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the other problem is is setting up the racks to where they're efficiently drying wheat. Yeah, Paige already spoke to me about this stuff. Do you, do you know how uh, to do that? Yeah, yeah. So each heater uh, on the panel displays, uh, I think it's forty. Uh, sorry, twenty kilowatts per heater on the on the fucking on the panel, and it's essentially just turning your place into the fucking sun. So and just he said, uh, go overkill. Just uh, try to avoid fires. Yeah, but that, that's and another that, thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh. <laughs> so if I get if I get you racks, you know how to set that shit up. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take like one or two cycles to know like okay, like this is how long it's gonna take when I do this. So long it's gonna take when I do that, and then I'll find be able to tell like okay, you know, to get for example, uh uh, you know the amount of breaks every day in twenty four hours, that's feasible. It just we need to have the fucking things. The heaters and the wrecks, right? Hey, don't go now, don't go overboard and burn the house said, down. Though, no, 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 no. I think what AK said makes sense, though. It's not optimal. I think eventually dedicating a place to drying is 100% going to be better. Because who knows how far you can, you know, you can get that time down to. We don't know until we try. No one has tried. All yeah, the we can optimi opt if we can optimize the drying, we can we can de-optimize <laughs> the growing. It, no, and I, the, there's less work required. I 100% yeah. agree. But... Uh, with the amount of, like, let's say, that with the amount of you can produce, if you can produce, yeah, actually it's produce it's 12,000 bags, and there's not much need of, <laughs> there's not much need of optimizing the drying, because yeah, yeah, but the first anyway. four stage, it's not on the table, yeah. but later down the line, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. be relevant. Yeah, so for now, let's let's aim for the 6k a day. 6k a day, I think, is what you can push. Like, like five, uh, yeah, five, if, if you can give me 5,000 bags a day, that's more than enough. That's enough to feed the whole block. Yeah. Okay. Um... I guess we'll need. I'll do the math in a moment, and I'll, I'll let you know what we need for the racks. And then it's just a matter of buying the blueprints, getting the wood, or buying the wood to make the racks, and go from there. Uh, I can I can buy the heaters from Utool. I think it's like three hundred and fifty bucks a piece, so it's not even that expensive either. Um, also, we're buying medium racks, not the high. So medium racks store five. Uh, bricks per uh, rack. The high ones store 10. Difference is the size of the high yeah, rack the big ones are is like almost three times the size of a regular medium rack. So just for efficiency sake. What about price ones. though? So the, the big ones are 12 and a half K. The medium, the is... medium ones are 7.5 per blueprint, which is five racks. The future bought a high rack blueprint already for 12 and a half K. So we can make five of those if need be. Yeah, I mean, might uh, as well. Money's right? already, yeah, you know, might as well. We already have the blueprint. <laughs> exactly. And the rest will just be all mediums. So I think first steps first is uh, make the big racks, make all of them, put them in the house, yeah. and then we'll get the mediums, make them. And at that point, yeah. you can drive 100 bucks a day. Like, like, we don't, Jade's we don't... already... Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. I'm just going to say, uh, Jade just hit her, her max rep, so she can now uh, put the strain on the things. Uh, we're going to then use one of the plots to get my wrap up. So I can then also stamp the strain on the uh, the, the bricks for us. All right. 